common practice in China is the use of maintenance businesses hired by property developers to oversee the thousands of apartments that have sprung up in many of the Chinese cities in recent decades. This is no different in the city of Xi'an. Xi'an is a beautiful city known for its terracotta warriors, its ancient history and great food, but the Xiaoling district of Xi'an harbors a dark, tragic secret from 2016 in which, unlike their vast historic achievements, the residents will wish to forget. A woman who has only been named as Wu lived on the 15th floor of an apartment building in the famous northwestern city and was known to keep herself to herself. In fact, not much is known about her at all, but it was claimed that she was 43 years old. Her neighbours mostly described her as quiet, a bit of a loner but polite, and according to her family members, she had a history of mental illness. According to accounts, two repairmen cut off the power to the elevator on January the 30th, 2015, after it malfunctioned between the 9th and 10th floor. The plan was to fix it, but it was Chinese New Year, so they decided they would do it after. A month long wait for an elevator repair is rare, but many businesses and services come to a halt during the New Year break. Despite the fact that the official holiday only lasts approximately a week, many employees take time off before and after the holiday, creating significant disruption to many commercial services, especially those in building maintenance. Before the repairmen turned the elevator off, they shouted to check if anyone was inside. The two repairmen didn't hear anything back and assumed no one was in the elevator. This shouldn't have mattered anyway. The protocol would have been to pry open the door before leaving to see if anyone was inside. The two failed to do this. If they had have done this, they would have realized Wu was still inside when they decided to leave. After the celebrations were over and the Chinese New Year had passed, the repairmen returned to work and discovered the body of Wu, who had been stuck in the elevator since late January. She had starved to death. No one had heard Wu screaming for 30 days. When they found her body, her hand was placed against the elevator door. Both of her hands were mangled in attempts to pry the door open, and there were scratches all over the wall. However, it was unclear how the woman in the elevator could have remained stuck for so long without her neighbors or relatives even being aware of it. According to the local media sources, the woman was mentally ill and her family felt that she had simply gotten lost or disappeared on purpose. They had reported her missing, but had taken no further action to find out where she was. A tenant of the apartment complex told Sohu News that the building management service was inadequate and that the residents' complaints about often broken elevators and other issues were often ignored. People in the apartment building used another elevator whilst the first one was out of service, which is why they may have not heard Wu's calls for help. Residents launched a protest against the building's administration when the woman's death was discovered. The maintenance company were promptly replaced. This case not only caused outrage over the elevator repairs company and the building's management, but it caused outrage all over China and the mistreatment of people in their buildings by property developers. People wanted to know why the most simple of precautions that could have prevented this death were not taken. After this outrage, people from the elevator repair company and the maintenance firm in charge were detained by police Unfortunately, I couldn't find much more information on the trial itself. I believe the two maintenance workers were on trial for involuntary manslaughter, but I was unable to find if they were prosecuted. If anyone knows any more info, please leave a comment below and I'll pin it to the top of the video. This topic sadly circles on not only the gross inadequacy of the maintenance company and the people that failed Wu, but the loneliness that many people often have. Wu barely kept in contact with her family and had no friends. Unmarried women in China are known as leftover ladies and this is just sad. One person who saw Wu's story stated, I thought incidents like these would only happen in rural countryside, but a busy city is also a steel forest 
You are surrounded by so many people and can have so many friends, but very few real connections. I'll leave links below for a free hotline that you can call if you are feeling lonely for someone to speak to. This was a sad case to cover because it was so easily avoided. The people of that building failed Wu and I hope wherever she is now, she's in a much better place and she rests in peace. Thank you for watching.